Since you are a witness, I suppose I can shield you from arrest. At least until I have received an explanation from Takayuki. Yeah, you're not really in the best place to bargain right now. But if it turns out that you have been deceptive in this matter, then not only will you be arrested immediately, but you'll also be charged with one more crime. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, 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 sure. Hmm. Good. Apologies, ma'am. Orders from the top. No one is allowed to enter. What? Out of my way! I need to speak to him. I, I am literally a member of this commission. What are you doing? I think she's pretty good for the stuff that I've seen. Holy crap! Teach me a lesson. <laughs> oh my god. Stop! Sara, have you gone insane? How dare you disregard my order? Hey, you're the one who sent the goons after me. M Master, I... Go on, ask him. Don't let him intimidate you. Please tell me, Master. I need to know. Has the Tenryo Commission really betrayed the Shogunate? That would seem to be the case. Hmm. Yes, I have dealings with the Fatui. He's and admitting yes, it. The report you saw was penned by my hand. There's always going to be a but. <laughs> he just came right out and admitted it. There's going to be a but. Diplomats from Snezhnaya promised a very generous reward indeed. It appeared to me to be an excellent deal. I simply saw no need to inform you, Sara. So, <clears throat> he, he understands that people would take down this commission, so he decides to team up with bad people that would make people want to take down the commission. This guy's an but idiot. You worship the Shogun. How can you betray her after all this time and act like it's nothing? Betrayal? How can you call this a betrayal? When the lightning strikes in Inazuma, they shall fall to their knees and tremble, paralyzed by fear and trepidation. I think you I think you underestimate them. So I'm going to tell the Shogun the truth about all this. If nothing else, my conscience will be clear. Yeah, redemption arc. <laughs> Stubborn and futile. And also young. She could probably kick your ass. Report to the Shogun if you so wish. The Kujo clan's position is now unshakable, and nothing you can do will change this. The Shogun is at Tenshukaku receiving a Shnezhnayan diplomat. A harbinger by the name of Signora. Oh, no. Oh, no, not her. Oh, she's gonna take the Gnosis. Signora's the one behind all this? Ugh, not her again! Hey, well, maybe we can fight her. Diplomat from Snezhnaya. Well, if she thinks she's leaving Inazuma in one piece, she's got another thing coming. Yeah. Do you think she's gonna go barge into Tenshukaku right now? Either way, we need to go and uh, and and fight Senora for taking Venti's gnosis and turning you into an you ice can cube. Say that again. All right then, let's do this. Hey, Senora, it's your boy Child. What's up? The way people charge in here as they please, so uncivilized. If I didn't know this was Tenshukaku, I might have mistaken it for some kind of street market. Literally how? Have you learned your lesson now? Oh, shut up. Oh no, what has she done to Kujo Sara? Oh no, they killed Sara. The right to punish Inazumans for their crimes is mine alone. Not yours, Signora. Yeah, then I real. apologize, almighty Shogun. I know, I know, you can't get me out of your mind. But you really don't need to call my name all the time. I think I said it once? Don't go thinking I'm surprised to see you here. I'm well aware that you hate me, with the way you follow me around like a dark shadow. I, I, I've, I've encountered you maybe like twice? But you're following you around like a shadow. You're you're on a high horse, woman. Ah, so you came to expose my crimes in front of the Shogun. <laughs> I'm just a Snezhnayan diplomat. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Open up your purse. We'll show her your Gnosis collection. She doesn't take us seriously at all. That's ancient history. You certainly love to hold a grudge. Ancient history, that was like four months ago. The Tsaritsa's Actually, that was a little longer. dream is the noblest and purest thing in all the world. These other mundane details you insist on mentioning, they're just necessary sacrifices. That's all. 
you stop me? <laughs> For what it's worth, I've grown tired of seeing you around as well. But I didn't have you down as someone quite so foolhardy. What is foolhardy? She's pulling out all the weird words. Before you go saying something you can't take back, remember that you're Inazuma's most wanted criminal. I suggest you consider your circumstances very carefully. I challenge you. Oh, he's speaking! To a duel before the throne. Hell yes, he's finally talking. <sighs> Proceed. We're going Harbinger versus Harbinger right now. Uh, uh, you've got some nerve laying your hands on me. Technically, I haven't touched you with hands Harbinger yet. Harbinger power has become burdensome. Now she hatches from her cocoon into a beautiful <sighs> butterfly. <laughs> I actually wow. Okay, so it, 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 she is like is a butterfly. That's not fair. Flame. Oh, the she's got a whip. Come on, what kind of BDSM shit is this? Suffering. Not every wound will heal. Stop, shouldn't let your guard down. <laughs> Done for. <laughs> Wrong. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? But how? <laughs> yes. I was about to say, she can't attack us now. I am a Snizhnayan diplomat. You know what happens if you lay a finger on me. I swear, if you strike me, I will make sure. The Fatui will make sure that your precious Inazuma. Oh. Stop! I order you! Oh, she's got bloodlust. You! Filthy rats! All of you! Oh my god! Bruh. Bruh. She just killed Senora! You are the enemy of eternity. She just straight up killed her! <sighs> but as the victor, I acknowledge your honor. Therefore, I shall allow you to leave Tenshukaku alive. Uh. So, Senora's dead. Um, sure, but what's going on? Oh, the air feels suffocating. Traveler, are you okay? You're so silent. I'm silent like 95% of the time. Sounds like there's a lot of noise coming from outside Tenshikaku. Has a fight broken out or something? Can we hurry it up? Maybe we can see. Oh, the guards seem really nervous. Well, let's go see what the situation is, shall we? The guards are all dead. What do you mean, they're nervous? <sighs> the what? <laughs> what? There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. What? No! What? Kazuha. My man. Bro, he just awakened a second vision. Take her out, fellas. Bro, what? what do we do? Are they all about to get vision? Oh.
So, we meet again. Indulge my curiosity. What is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? I, I could go into specifics, but I'll, I'll be vague. Do you hope your foolhardiness will shelter those people? W what is with this or word again? was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me? I'm going to have to start using foolhardiness. It's a funny word. Oh? <laughs> Surely you didn't rouse me from my state of eternal meditation only to tell me this. Hey, it's something that needs to be said. <laughs> If so, then you underestimate me. I am quite well informed about the Vision Hunt decree. Not so. Only everything that pertains to eternity. Okay. The Vision Hunt decree has my tacit approval. The Fatui's actions thus far do not constitute a threat to eternity. Otherwise, they would have been purged long ago. Yeah, but you're kind of putting the people of your land at stake. That's kind of a selfish thing to do. Individual ambition is inherently incompatible with eternity. What you might not realize is that all too often, people have far more to lose by chasing their dreams. Consider this. No one will lose their life on account of having their vision taken away. It depends what your definition of losing life is. Anyway, you're looking for a chance to shake my will. Aren't you? I mean, kind of, but I'm just trying to understand you why you put your people in danger. Hmm. Oh, shoot. I'm here to just destroy them. So be it. Well, then, you who would defy eternity, time for you to enlighten me. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me, aren't you cutting it rather close? What? Hello? Hmm? Miko. Holy crap. This was your doing? Uh, sure. <sighs> now, now. Don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? I suppose not. Though you alone are here, they too have ambitions. Which they long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. We can abolish the vision hunt decree. Oh, baby. Oh, you done messed up now. Oh, I think we do a lot. We do like a lot more damage now. Holy crap! Hold on. What, what kind of what kind of what kind of damage can we get right now? A fleeting shadow. Brace yourself. This is gonna hurt. Oh, come on! That was one hit away. Boo! You've lost, eh? Yes, I have. Why can you not trust your people and in the power of their ambitions? These ambitions have transcended space and time. They are something that no one can snuff out. Is this the lesson you learned from your journey in Liyue? Yes, in fact it is. There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? You and I have both witnessed the great loss that progress can bring. Eternity. Eternity is the only way. When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. My name means shadow. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress.
And yet, something was lost with each step forward. No, it's Oz. In the end, I even lost her. The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. But I've seen a nation strike forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Perhaps only if time stands still will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream for a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. The heavenly principles. Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> she just besmirched your entire monologue. Never changing eternity is the promise I made to my people. And your people are miserable, so maybe it's time to change things up. But what your people need from you is not your promises. They want your attention. Your divine gaze. <laughs> you mean visions? Yeah, probably. Humans have a lifespan of barely a hundred years. They cannot afford to bear any extra losses. But I have experienced it all. That is why I have chosen to guide them along the correct path toward eternity. Yeah, but who are you to judge that? <sighs> you have found the loneliness here unbearable for a long time now, haven't you? Yeah, loneliness does a number on you. I... Uh, have nothing to say to that. Because it's true. <laughs> but I have so much to say to you. Let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries. <laughs> how long will that take? Well, I don't know how in-depth she's going to go or if she's just going to give the Spark Notes version. As a Fox Envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries with perfect clarity. Oh yeah, it's going to take a while. So it will probably take me another few centuries to relay it to you. <laughs> What's well, another couple hundred years? <laughs> <sighs> Miko, I never thought I would have the chance to meet with you like this again. Since you are willing to admit that, I suppose that means we can still be friends? Yeah, it's only been a couple hundred years. Shouldn't be hard to rekindle that friendship. Now that I have been defeated by you and your plan, I will honor your wish to abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. Yeah, we did it, fellas. But... Oh, God. With regards to eternity, and the question of whether this nation should move forward, I need time to give it some thought. <laughs> you are the one who's been acting like a child from the very beginning. As promised, the Raiden Shogun abolished the Vision Hunt Decree. Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plane of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds to bring victory, to inspire hope. But some ambitions outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning.
burning bright and true for all eternity. So what did you guys do in the Riding Tokens Plane of Euthymia anyway? We had a wonderful conversation with a friend. Is the Vision Hunt Decree abolished? Heck yeah. Oh, gotcha. Paima was super worried, you know. So, maybe the reason Yaimiko is looking for us now is because she wants to thank us. Let's go find her. It's probably something a little more than that. Why, hello, if it isn't the Triumphant Traveler. And why might you be visiting the shrine? A sign of piety, perhaps. Now nah, we just wanted to come and visit you again. You literally told us to come meet you here! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was just joking. I've been waiting for you. Seems like someone's in a pretty good mood. Mm-hmm. Catching up with an old friend I hadn't seen in years was truly delightful. I love how they say years. Like, oh, I haven't seen them in two years, but in reality, it's probably closer to 500. <sighs> sure feels good to finally thwart a Fatui plan for once. They caused plenty of trouble along the way, but at the very least, they didn't get their hands on another Gnosis. What do you mean, it's finally time that we we foiled a Fatui plot? Isn't that the entire thing that we did in Leoway? Wait a second. Did you say Gnosis? Yes, I did. As in, the little thing that looks something like a chess piece. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's the one. You've seen one too? Gnosis belong to the Seven. They're what keep them connected to Celestia. Oh. Uh, why do you say it like that? W what's wrong? I handed that over. Uh, Miko. You did what now? You are something else. Well, how else was I supposed to save your skin from the balladeer exactly? <clears throat> God damn it. You've got to be kidding me. Right when I thought that we had thwarted their overall big plot, they had to go and... <sighs> Miko, Miko, Miko. Um, so anyway, you still haven't told us why you called us here today. <laughs> it's to thank you. Really? You intend to travel all over to Vat, and the time has come for the Inazuma leg of your trip to come to an end, has it not? Uh, I mean, until they update the game again to add in the new area. As a mark of my gratitude, I will answer any questions you may have about the road ahead or the events of the past. Ho 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 ho! Baby, how good is your memory? Because do I have questions for you? What would you like to know about? Oh, so many things. Uh, yeah, let's ask about my sister first. Sorry, I haven't a clue. Son of a bitch. I'm also unfamiliar with the god you describe. Son of a bitch! Well, then what use are you? But if you still have doubts about A, I would say they are misplaced. Not only does she not fit your description, but she voluntarily gave up her Gnosis long ago, severing her ties with Celestia in the process. Well, who knows? Maybe the Unknown God is just the first of the Fatui Harbingers. I'll let you know if I find out anything. Consider it part of my means of thanking you. And where, where should I go next? Let's get some insight on what the next update's gonna be. After leaving Inazuma, hmm... I think it would be easiest for you to go to Sumeru. Okay, we're going to Sumeru next. Ooh, Sumeru! We've run into loads of scholars from there on our journey so far. Is that the is that the is that the Pyro place? Is that where the Pyro Archon is? I think so. Yes, well, Sumeru is the land of the God of Wisdom, where the quest for wisdom and knowledge is never ending. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But their obsession gives rise to some truly inexplicable things. For example, in Sumeru, knowledge is holistically managed as a resource. Knowledge is a resource? Yes. I don't know whether it was the sages or Lesser Lord Kusanali who came up with the idea. Lesser Lord Kusanali? That's a cute name. Oh, you haven't heard. Lesser Lord Kusanali is the deity in whom the people of Sumeru place their faith. It's their chosen term of endearment for her. I'm sure you must have some things to discuss with her, too. I wish you all the best. Well, we have completed everything there is to do in Inazuma for the main story. And now, I suppose, we just wait until Sumeru.
is explorable.